what's going on everybody welcome to the channel and the video review of the vfly r130 the 130 millimeter brushless fpv racer this is the bind and fly version and this one i have is the fly sky eight channel receiver model it also comes in the fr sky 16 channel and the spectrum seven channel receiver versions as well so taking a look at the design of this quadcopter here it is slightly similar in design with that sandwich the body style like that of the holy bro shuriken 250 and that holy bro shuriken 180 but this one has a full-on carbon fiber frame on the bottom and it is in pieces here the body is two millimeter in thickness and the arms are a separate unit the arms come in at three millimeter in thickness and we also have a top board sandwiching the body and the top board has a circuit board integrated into it and we also have another top board on top of it and that seems to be the power distribution esc board and we ha also have a battery plate on top of that to protect everything from the top and it is an xt30 for the battery plug so the vtx and the receiver and the flight controller is either on the inside or it's integrated into this top board because we have a micro USB port on the side uh, as well as a bind button for your receiver and a channel and frequency changing button for your VTX as well right up on this side and we also have a little wire sticking out on the back that is for the receiver that's the receiver antenna wire in which it was it's a very stubby little short antenna but it was long enough to get whacked with the props so i just put a little zip tie and zip tied it to the hind legs there and the motor wire is running out of the motor and going into the body of the quadcopter it is taped down and it's got some kind of a nice velvety touching uh, tape right on the top it's just adhered on the top it does not wrap around the arms it's just holding it down from the top and the motor wires in the front are soldered on to this top circuit board as you can see there from right on the bottom of that front area there is soldered onto this board but the ones in the back are just running directly inside and being soldered up on the inside Okay, on this side of the quadcopter here, we see a little port right here. And this one here is an external port and it seems to be uh, an LED port. So if you wanna uh, put some more LED lights on this baby, you can knock yourself out with this port. Uh, but it also comes with LED lights. Uh, right up in the front here in the corner, that's an LED light right there. That's an LED light right here as well. And if you look in the back, there's a couple of LED lights as well. Uh, you can't really see it, but when you power up the quadcopter, uh, those lights do light up pretty bright. And there is also an LED display right up on top of the quadcopter's top plate, that circuitry plate there. And this is for the VTX. Uh, it shows you the battery voltage. Yeah, it shows you how much voltage your battery has. So that is just fantastic fantastic it also shows you the channel and the frequency as well and when you are changing the vtx's output power it shows you the value of the output power as well so that is just an awesome little display right on the top of the quadcopter so once again here is the micro usb port to connect to your computer via a micro usb cable and connect to your configurator and change your parameters uh, here on the left is the bind button once again and that is for your receiver uh, very easy to bind power up the quadcopter whilst holding this bind button down and 
uh, hit that bind button on your radio very easy and simple to do and that is very nice that the bind button is Very highly accessible on the side here and this button on the right here is the channel and the frequency changing button a short press of it will run through the 40 channels and a long press of it will change the power output of the VTX and it is displayed right up here the channels and the power output is displayed right up on here and the VTX is a 5.8 gigahertz 25 milliwatt 200 milliwatt 500 milliwatt switchable VTX and we are given a mushroom antenna as well the motors on this baby here is the V fly 1306 4100 kV brushless motors and they are looking fantastic nice and big uh, and the props that we are given are the Dell props the T3045 bullnose props and they are secured by some bullet style nuts right on the top so the flight controller is the Omnibus F4 flight controller with integrated Betaflight OSD. So that means you are able to change some of the parameters out on the field via your goggles and your radio. So that is just fantastic. And it is also pre-flashed with Betaflight version 3.1.7 firmware as well. And the ESCs are the BL Heli S. ESCs with 15 amp and 20 amp burst power and they are capable of handling 3 to 4 S batteries and the batteries that they recommend you to use are 3S 850 milliamp or 4S 550 milliamp size batteries in which I have two of them for this quadcopter ready to go I have the infinity 850 and the GNB 850 the infinity has a C rating of 70 and the GNB has a C rating of 80 so these are the batteries that I'll be using for the flight test and the quadcopter comes in at 172 grams And these batteries here, both of them comes in right around 77 grams. And the total weight of the battery and the quadcopter uh, takeoff weight is about 249 grams. And I have my FlySky FSI6 radio here. I have it bounded to it. And also what you get in the box are some instruction manual, a quick start guide. And this goes through all of the necessary details, everything you need to know to have this quadcopter bound and ready to go. And it shows you all of the channels and the frequency in the back and how to go about changing the channels and the output power of the VTX as well. And all of the specifications of the quadcopter and also you get a bag of goodies here they contain the four extra set of props the same color and the same branded props so that is just fantastic and you also are given a little wrench to take the props off and you also get this little bag of goodies containing an allen wrench some little screws here and some velcro tabs so let's go for that little demo flight with the v-fly R130. I just wanted to show you how nicely packed this V-Fly R130 came. This is the box that it came in and when you open it up, I put everything back of course. Uh, we got the instruction manual right on the top. We have a top foam and on the inside there's the quadcopter and there's the props and there's the bag of goodies. So very very nicely packed for transportation. All right, we are just about ready to go with the V-Fly R130, but I don't think I really showcased the camera, the FPV camera right up in the front. It is a nice looking camera. It is attached by two little side uh, screws on there. And the whole camera itself is housed in this some kind of rubbery material. So very, very nice. And it is tilt adjustable to your liking just by rotating it. You don't have to adjust any screws. So I'm just going to leave it somewhat of an angle facing up, maybe about 20, 25 degree angle up. So let's go for that demo flight with the R130. 
turning on the transmitter and powering up this baby here. We are ready to go with the Infinity battery. All right, so we are bound and if you can see, we have the channel, the C, initial C stands for the channel and we are in channel C2 and it is showing me that I have 12.4 volts in the battery. So that is just fantastic, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and go for that little demo flight and arming this baby here. I've already uh, hovered it inside of the house, but that was just a baby hover. So let's go for the real outdoor test. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. No wind today as well. Okay, so the LED lights in the back, one of them is red and one of them is blue. The left one is blue and the right one is red. And the LED light in the front is both of them are clear LED lights. All right. It, it is looking pretty nice. It looks very heavy. It looks very top heavy. But it is doing nice. Yep, it has very good controls. And I am running the stock PIDs that came with the quadcopter. It has its own settings in the PID department as well. And it is handling pretty nice. Nice, nice. Let's do a little punch out. Okay, pretty decent punch out at about, I would say 80 to 85% throttle okay so that was a little small punch out let's go for a full blown full throttle punch out let's go and that's a full throttle punch out there not bad there's a little bit of prop wash on the way down one more one more little punch out that is pretty good not bad Now remember, the whole total weight of this thing is about 250 grams, so it is a little bit on the heavy side. And we are running 3S battery here. And it's doing pretty nice. Very nice, pretty good speed. And nice and stable. Very easy to control. Okay, let's bring it in here. Try my hand at some acro. Okay, we are in acro now and wow. Very easy to control it in acro as well. It just It doesn't just fly away. So very nice, nice control right out of the box here. The configurations are perfect. Okay, let me try and do a little flip. Okay, nice fast rotation. Woohoo, woohoo. Bring it in. Nice, nice. A slower rotation there, but it does nice flips. Woohoo. All right. Not bad, not bad. Okay, going back to stabilized mode here and do a final punch out. Nice. Pretty nice. As long as you don't come straight down, I think there's not going to be any prop wash. Yeah, if you give it just a little angle instead of coming straight down, it's coming straight down, I notice there's some prop wash. All right, let's land this baby here and 
slap on some goggles and do some FPV. Nice. All right, we are just about ready to go with the first FPV flight of the V-Fly R130. All right, let's check it out. Woohoo! All right. Got to get used to the uh, Fly Sky FSI 6 radio here. Okay, let's make some rounds. Let's go up towards the corner of this field here. Somebody's parked there. Onto the street level. There's some disturbance there on the VTX. I do have it set to 200 milliwatts. Maybe I need to set it to the 500 milliwatts. And we do have a pretty good distance here. Not bad. The controls are pretty decent. So far, so good. There's a slight bit of, uh, I wouldn't say jello, but a slight bit of wobble. Right now, it seems to be fine, but there's a little bit of wobble. Okay, here we go. Let me try and do a flip. Whoa, pretty fast flips too. And like I said, we are running the PID values that it came with. Wow, pretty fast. You gotta get used to this baby here. It's a little bit on the heavy side. It does come down rather pretty quickly. There, there's some jello going up. But so far, so good. Okay, let's see how fast she can go. She is just a screaming, and that is just about full throttle there. That was full throttle there. Not bad. It drained out the battery somewhat. <laughs> it's still at 11.0. Oh, that's a wobble coming down from that one there. So that is the stock PIDs right out of the box, ready to fly, the V-Fly R130. Yeah, it's not bad. It is all right, very good. It's maneuverable as well. Woohoo! All right, we got ourselves a flyer. So, not bad. We are flying for about three minutes and 40 seconds already with this baby here. So the 3S battery, 850 milliamp that we are utilizing is giving us a pretty decent amount of flight time. So that is fantastic. I do not have a XT30 plugged 4S batteries, but I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and invest in some of those sizes as well. 550 milliamp 4S with XT30. That could be interesting. Very nice, very nice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. I've been flying for four and a half minutes. 
not bad. So they expect you to bring it in before hitting that 10.5. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring it in and give this baby a landing right here. It's all right, not bad at all. Nice. All right, just got done flying the V-Fly R130 line of sight as well as FPV for the first time and looks like a winner here. Just a slight bit of oscillation and vibrations. Uh, it does do acro maneuvers as well. It is a little bit on the heavy side on the downfall to catch yourself. So you have to kind of throttle up uh, in preparation before you hit the ground. So to save yourself from hitting the ground. But all in all, it's a fantastic of a FPV flyer, able to do some acro maneuvers. And it did fantastic with these batteries gave me over four minutes of flight time with this thing so that is just awesome and the thing I like about it is that you are able to see the voltage right on top of the uh, quadcopter itself it shows you how much battery power you got left so that is awesome the FPV was not bad as well the field of view is fantastic and the transmission is fantastic as well I'm going to up it to 500 milliwatts and do a little bit more flying with some other batteries that I have so I um, can check this baby out a little bit more further so there you have it guys that is the v fly r130 uh, thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we will see you again next time